It's time for Nacho's Revenge. Nacho! All right, it's the morning mess. Time for your favorite prank calls. Time for Nacho's Revenge. Can we say good morning to Allie? Morning. Hi. Good morning, guys. Morning, Miss Allie. Looks like you need some revenge on your boyfriend, Carson. What do you do? Oh, my goodness. So <laughs> he's got a really funny sense of humor. <laughs> Let me just say. We've been dating for, you know, about three months. Tell you the truth, previously, I'd been single for like eight years before this. So wow. for me to be finally dating seriously is like a miracle anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. Thanks. So my boyfriend knows this. And I've told him so many times that my family like literally harasses me all the time to find a boyfriend, settle down, have babies. And like, it's brutal. And you know, now I'm so excited to introduce him to my family. And he knew this. And, you know, taking him to dinner with them was a huge deal for me and for my family. What did he decide to do? <laughs> so embarrassing. We get there and he acts very flamboyant. And when everyone's asking me if he's my boyfriend, he like starts joking with them and tells them that he's my gay best friend. <laughs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> wow. Right. What? Exactly. What is uh, right? He made me look crazy. And I know he thinks it was just funny. Eventually, he cut it out. But, you know, now my family just thinks he started pretending because he felt bad for me. And oh. it's just a mess. <laughs> so let me get this straight, man. Your boyfriend, Carson, decided to play a joke on you at this family get together, what have you, pretending to be gay because he knows that your family is pressuring you to get married and he wanted them to think that your gay friend was just pretending to be your boyfriend. Did I get this right? Yeah. And like, you know, I'm not mad, but I definitely want to get revenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do we have in mind on playing this prank against your not gay boyfriend? So I want Nacho to call him mm -hmm. and I want him to say that he's my grandpa and that he's really <laughs> worried that I'm never going to get married. And he heard I lied about him being my boyfriend and that he's gay and, you know, the <laughs> this whole thing. This is so much. <laughs> this is, this is a next level prank call. Okay, so we're going to get old ass Nacho Chavez. Now I'm your grandfather. Now, my character Nacho Chavez is Latino. You don't sound Latina. Will he give any kind of like, like, wait a minute, or I could be wrong. Are you part Latina or not? I'm not, but I, I don't think... <laughs> Oh, that's just You've only been funny. together three months. I, I don't know. Can I hear you say Viva La Raza real quick? Say Viva La Raza. Uh, Viva La Raza? There you go. That was Close great. Enough. That was great. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't say that anymore. You got to say, Ay, Dios mio. Oh, my God. Ay, Dios mio. There you go. <laughs> All right. We got your favorite prank calls up next. It's Nacho's Revenge with my homie, Ali. Oh, my Hulu. gosh. Inside your favorite prank calls, Nacho's Revenge. I'm going to try to get this one straight, y'all. Listen, man, we talked to Allie. So, you know, her family's been pressuring her to, you know, be married at one point in her life. And it's been a while, but she's been dating this guy, Carson, for the past three months. And the one thing you love of Carson, that, of his sense of humor, right? Yes, absolutely. As strange as it might be at times. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little weird. Yeah, he pulled a prank on you at your family dinner, pretending to be gay, knowing that the family has been dying for you to find someone in your life to eventually be married to. Now your whole family thinks that your boyfriend's gay. Exactly, or that he's not even my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, that you're lying. <laughs> that you're lying about it. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> okay, so you threw us for a curveball on how this prank call can be. So you want me... As Nacho Chavez to be who this morning? My grandpa. <laughs> well, I can't be your grandpa because this is Nacho Chavez. I'm your abuelito. Say abuelito. Abuelito. There you go. Close <laughs> enough. I I'm going to call him as grandpa questioning him being your boyfriend. Guys, are we ready? Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hello, is this Carson? Uh, yeah, I'm going to ask calling. My name is Nacho. Nacho with two old Chavez. I'm Ali's grandpapa. Hello, sir. Did you say Chavez? I mean, uh, I didn't know Ali was Hispanic. <laughs> well, well, we want Ali to be at his piece, not his panic. Am I right? <laughs> How did you get my number? Well, Carsones, Ali gave it to me. She wrote it down on a piece of paper, and then I took the paper and I wrote your number down in my phone book under <laughs> Ali's gay fake boyfriend. <gasps> <laughs> Sir, that, that that was a little prank. Um, I played on her just because you know I know how much you guys all pressure her to have a boyfriend, and 
So I, I, I just thought I'd pretend a little. So <laughs> let me get this straight. Being gay is a joke to you? Oh, no, 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 sir. Not, not at all, sir. No. Are you dating Ali because she kind of looks like a dude when she doesn't shave her mustache? <laughs> no, that's not nice, man. Ali is beautiful. You don't have to lie to me anymore, Carsonas. Listen, I saw the way you looked at my ass while I passed by. You're no straighter than a hump on a camel's back. Let me tell you something. Wow. Um. Okay. No, no, I didn't even see that you were at the dinner party. Uh, I'm sorry if that was the impression that you got, sir. Oh, you saw my impression on my gray sweatpants, do you? No, oh, God, no. No. <laughs> Why are you calling me? Because I'm worried about Allie. What was wrong with Allie? Who's Allie? Your granddaughter, Allie. That is why you called me? Why do you sound like a boy, Allie? Hello? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is, this is Allie's boyfriend. You called saying you were worried about her. Are you pranking me, son? This is one of those prank calls these kids do. <laughs> Uh, you put up on YouTube, or was it YouTube, or what, what is he? Oh, what's happening here? Put me on your do not call list, please. You called me, sir. I'm Carson, Allie's boyfriend. You said you were worried about her. Oh, right, right. Listen, I know you're not actually her boyfriend, but I'm afraid she's going to be too old to marry if she doesn't marry someone right now. She's in her 30s, man. She's in the prime of her life. You know, I, I think she's doing pretty great. What? She's 30? That's so old. She's practically dead. <gasps> oh my God. Listen, buddy, this isn't the 1900s. She's the perfect age to get married, to have children. <laughs> well, at 30, I already had six kids and I own my own farm, so. She's amazing, and she doesn't need all the pressure to get married. She can cook and clean, I think, so. Oh, my. I don't care about that. <laughs> she also has a master's from UFC, so that should be what you are proud of. Well, I don't know who taught women how to read, but she also knows how to bake a mean apple pie if that makes it better. All right, listen, I'm trying to be nice because you're old and you're her grandpa, but f*** you, man. You're so misogynistic. And if when I marry your amazing, beautiful granddaughter, you will not be there because you are not invited to our wedding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> well, really, really, really quick, Carson. We got to let you know you're actually live on the radio. We're the morning mess. Your girl, Allie's on the phone right now with us. She actually put us up to this prank call. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> well, that is what you get for making me look like I made up our relationship in front of my family. Honey. <laughs> I am definitely not going to propose now. That's for sure. Wait, you, you were going to propose? Yeah, I mean, I have a, a three-carat ring all ready for you. And okay. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Come on. <laughs> Are you for real? No. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nope. <laughs> 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 Do the All right, showtime. You ready? Born ready. Great. Did you bring the dongle? What's a dongle? Never mind. We'll just show them on your laptop. I was supposed to bring my laptop? Don't panic. You shared the presentation with me, right? I forgot. Well, if you log in, then we can... My password. I was, uh, I was about to say I forgot my password. You ordered the food through Easy Cater, right? Yes. We'll be fine. Food can make or break a presentation, so make sure you order at EasyCater.com. Individually packaged food, delivered right on time. How?